Hey everyone, I am Zoeb Khan and I am a front-end engineer. In this video, we will create a blog post card layout using Tailwind CSS and its utility first pattern. Tailwind CSS has been getting a lot of attention nowadays because it saves us from writing custom CSS in our styles and instead it relies on adding class names to our HTML. This makes it very fast to create great looking layouts without writing a single line of CSS. So let's get started. First we have created a new Angular 11.2 project and added Tailwind CSS to it. If you are wondering how to do that, I have already covered it in a previous video. Click on the link above to watch that. Once that is done, let's build our card layout. So first, let's update it so that we can get it empty. And first we are going to uh, create a containing div which would be uh, the container for our card. and and uh, this we want to cover the whole screen so we're going to give the height of screen and we're going to give the width of screen as well to test whether it works we're going to give it just a color to test okay whether it covers the whole screen okay nice so it covers the whole screen uh, the next thing we are going to do is to make it flex and we're going to center it so that we can have the card at the center justify center right uh, let's add a hello here to see if it's centered. Yes, so it's centered. Uh, next, uh, we will add uh, our card itself. Now, we want the card to be about two thirds of the width at this point. So, we are going to make the width as two thirds, the 67%. Um, and we are going to make it a bit rounded uh, because it gives a, round, a nice round edge. And we are going to add a shadow it okay you cannot see it because there's no content inside of it so let's first then um, add the image which is uh, which appears at the top we want that image we're going to add an image uh, tag first and we're going to add the source which we get from um, an unsplash image you already have here okay now that we have here you, you'll be able to see uh, how wide our card is <coughs> okay next what we're going to do is we're going to uh, add some styles to our image. We're going to make the width as full uh, or 100%. Okay, and we want the top uh, to be rounded. Uh, not all of uh, we don't want all the bottom to be rounded, but just the top. So we are going to use rounded top Excel. Okay, okay, we have those nice edges now. Um, uh, next, we want uh, the height to be. Um, a value as fixed value so we are going to make it maybe uh, edge 36 mm, yes okay that looks nice uh, now as you notice here that the image is now squashed a bit we don't want the image uh, dimensions to be actually setting uh, the size of the image here so uh, we are going to uh, make it object cover uh, so that uh, the image it is adjusted to our boundaries and uh, we are not limited by the dimension of the image itself okay so this looks okay now let's uh, now let's move on to the next uh, section uh, the first thing that we need to do in the next section is to add a small padding to it uh, we are going to add p6 which is about 24 pixels padding and uh, the first uh, row of the next section will be our uh, uh, category tags and to make that we are going to first create a flex and a flex row uh, then we are going to add our first category which will be freelancing and let's see how it looks okay it's pretty basic let's add our uh, let's make it uppercase first and uh, then we are going to uh, re reduce the text a bit uh, we we'll make it extra small okay and then we're going to uh, change the color of the text to be a dark yellow or you could say orange color uh, the background we're going to make a lighter yellow color okay okay looks okay uh, let's add an a padding in the x direction and let's add some padding in the y direction but a bit less padding in the y direction okay this looks good now let's add a bit of rounding as well so that looks like a tag okay great this looks good 
now in the next uh, one we are going to create the title for uh, our card and the title will be we already have the text here somewhere the title will be go to freedom okay uh, let's first uh, increase okay, let's first see how it looks like okay let's make the text as 2 Excel <coughs> and we need to give some margin from the top sorry this is margin right let's give a margin from the top okay and uh, let's make it bold because title should be bold mm, okay great this looks fine uh, let's make the text we already have some text here with us related to freelancing let's copy this okay mm, okay this looks fine just a couple of um, changes we need some margin at the top as before uh, and also we are going to make it a bit distinguishable from the title by changing the color to a dark gray so that um, it looks a bit distinguished okay this looks fine um, uh, so, okay, so next we have the bottom section which is our author section so we are going to make it a flex row because there are a couple of items which we need to lay out in a row the first of them will be the image we already have the image with us here and we have it from unsplash and it's uh, a small dimension image so 30 by 30 only okay uh, okay so the first thing is that it's too close to the top so we are going to add some more margin than we had before okay this looks fine <clears throat> and uh, for this image we are also going to uh, we're going to make it full rounded so it becomes a circle okay this looks okay uh, next we are going to add our uh, author's name which is be John Smith in our case and we will make it bold and we also need to give some margin to the top uh, just so that it's then okay uh, you'll also notice it's a bit uh, aligned at the top so we would like it to be centered but we'll add it uh, in a bit let's add the last thing that we need to add here which would be our um, date would be October 9th 2020 Okay, we need to give a margin on the right but uh, and let's make it a bit um, uh, lighter gray I guess because a date is sort of a supplementary information we don't want to draw a lot of attention to this okay that's fine um, now one thing I think it's not in a line uh, we need to make it centered yeah now it's centered fine okay so that looks pretty good okay great so now as you can see how convenient tailwind is in making great layout designs like this card view uh, in the next video we'll convert this layout into a card component in angular with inputs and then a proper responsive card grid which can be used in a real blog app okay that's it from me for now if you like this be sure to like and subscribe to get notified of my future videos Thanks for watching.